Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Side Dental Vlogs and I'm Dr. Abhishek and let me introduce myself. I am Associate Professor in Department of Oral Medicine in IDS Bhubaneswar, Odisha. So today's video is a very important topic because all of you have been asking me questions regarding what shall we choose. Shall we choose BDS as a carrier? Shall we choose BVSA as a carrier? Shall we go for physiotherapy? Shall we go for this, that? So first of all you have to be clear with yourself today i will tell you the what are the pros and cons of bds bachelor of dental surgery i am only going to talk about what you can do in bds after bds and what are the various scopes in dentistry what are the good colleges in dentistry why you will choose bds as your career so first of all in every college there are 100 bds seats so for example, if you are joining any college, so you will be getting around 100 friends. First of all, that is a very good thing. And uh, BDS means Bachelor of Dental Surgery. After BDS, there is only one degree, which is a higher education of BDS, which is known as MDS, Master of Dental Surgery. In MDS, there are nine branches. The nine branches are namely endodontics, prosthodontics, oral medicine and radiology, oral pathology, periodontics, orthodontics, community dentistry and pedodontics. So these two branches are there that deals with various parts of the tool. Like you will be specialized in gums, you will be specialized in oral surgery, oral cancer, you will be specialized in placing braces. So that is a different thing because after BDS you will do the MDS. That you will only choose after finishing of BDS in which you are having interest. Suppose any field, particular field you are having interest, after that you will join into MDS. Now what is there inside BDS? What and all you will study in first year, second year, third year, final year? Is it similar to MBBS or is it is something very different? So the first and second year is 95% similar to MBBS. The only thing is that in anatomy, you will be particularly more deeply reading about head and neck anatomy. Anatomy means all the nerves blood vessels so i think you are all all are 12th past and everybody has done biology so you know all these things so particularly anatomy you will be learning more about head and neck anatomy so initially when you join bds you will do a lot of curriculum like making blocks and working on wax and initially you will find it very boring in the very initial one month two months you will think why i have joined this bds this is such a waste of time but Mind me guys, when you come into th in the later stages, like after six or seven months, you will really get more and more interest because initial those exercises are given to access your hand skills. Okay. And many people, they will ask questions. Sir, I am not able to make the block. They, uh, so I'll tell you in a small detail in the very first second month, you will be making few cubes of plaster of Paris. You know, all know plaster of Paris. You have to, you have to make cubes, exact squares you have to make. So many people will be able to make and many people won't be able to make. So those who won't be able to make, they think that, okay, I won't be able to do BDS. The entire career is not for me. I have joined in this wrong position. I cannot make the cube. It's not like that. It's just to give you a jinx or some hang of BDS. The initial, like you have, you have to work on the patient's teeth, right? The teeth is very small. In that particular teeth, you have to be very cautious while doing the work. So that's why they give you all these exercises, right? It's not like that if you don't able, if you're not able to make cubes, you won't be able to do BDS. So as a bilkur apne dimag se pehle se nikal do, agar BDS join kar rahe ho to. Now I will talk about what we read in first year BDS, anatomy, physiology, then tooth morphology and biochemistry. All those things will be there. Physiology will be there. Dental materials will be there. Then you will be reading about pharmacology in second year. Then third year, your subjects will be changing you will be studying oral pathology more about dentistry subjects right and final year is totally pure dentistry subjects in third year you will also read general surgery and general medicine which is studied by mbbs students as well now regarding the number of colleges in india there are more than 320 colleges in india and you can take admission into any college seeing your budget and seeing your place suppose you stay in jaipur in Jaipur, there are many colleges, right? There are three, four colleges in Jaipur. It doesn't mean that you Jaipur Jaipur all the way you come to Madras and you read, right? So while you are in a good city or in a tire B city and you think, okay, if I do BDS from this particular college in that place, then you will be having other difficulties as well. 
let me remind you if you are a north indian and you come totally to the south state of the india then you will be getting a good college you will be it was it will be almost 90% similar to your college what you have, would have done in your native place so when you will be doing the course course will be remaining all right but the other things which i suffered like the food and the language all these barriers will come into uh, and that may cause depression in your minds so what i would suggest ki apne ghar ke paas koi college mein admission lijiye so that you can take care of your family as well even the family can look after you you can you can have easily you can stay in your home by not giving the hostel fees because nowadays also the hostel fees and the hostel food is also getting expensive so you have to think about your parents expense also so you have to choose a college which is according to your parents budget okay and try to take as minimum loan as possible right so then you have to choose a college which is nearby to your place suppose if you choose a college in jaipur if you don't get in jaipur suppose you go to udaipur whatever place so you will be in rajasthan and in that particular area you will be having some friends you will be making you will be able to make access the place where you are going to open your clinic you will be able to know the local people you will be able to say to the people like okay i am going to finish my bds and i am going to open my clinic here so in that way you can make a particular field understand if you if you are also if some government job is also coming up so you will be able to know it and suppose the same student is studying in madras so all the way when he will go back to his native place and there will be totally something different he won't be able to recognize anybody he won't be able to make a field of his own so that's what i'm telling for your practice you need to have your own field so choose a place which is near to your home that is best for you all okay now next comes the uh, fees of the college the fees of the college ranges from 2.5 lakhs to 6 lakhs depending upon which college you are choosing suppose you are more costlier will be the south india colleges because the infrastructure is very very good and and they are little bit charging higher than the north indian colleges so you will get to do bds in 3 lakhs per annum some colleges are also offering 6 lakhs per annum but that depends upon your budget totally that is upon your parents and you where you are choosing your college the quality of education is almost similar right because all the people have done mds and all good stuff are there in the colleges now next comes what you will do after bds immediately after bds there are i won't tell you ki there are a lot of job options but there are job options okay initially you have to work for less see bds means what bachelor of dental surgery you have to learn work in bds that is the only funda you have to learn proper extractions you have to learn proper root canal implantology then various other procedures if you know the work na you will be able to work anywhere you will be able to make and mint money like anything don't think nowadays the current situation is in bds there are not much jobs jobs are very less so in the coming future nobody knows what government will get new schemes or government government will uh, get some new missions for or some villages they will offer jobs so initially there will be a little bit of struggle for 5 years after that you can open your clinic now your parents will be telling okay your clinic khole mein to bahut paisa lagega dekhiye initially there are expenses right initially you will spend some money in bds okay suppose i suppose your college fees is 5 lakh rupees theek hai and uh, your um, hostel fees is another 50000 or 1 lakh per year so 6 lakhs per year is your fees so in 4 years you are spending around 25 lakhs on your bds then another 10 lakhs you spend on your clinic 35 lakhs to so do you think you will be able to recover those 35 lakhs and suppose you took loan also loan leke 50 60 lakh ho gaya you can easily do it in the period of 5 years every month you can make around 2 to 2.5 initially nahi hoga initially aap 30 ya 30 to 60 ke beech mein ghumenge 30000 kamayenge 60000 kamayenge lekin at the end, later stages you will be getting around 2 to 3 lakhs per month and every time it will increase as your age increases as your experience increases so wo sara paisa aapko wapas mil jayega aur aap extra bhi kamayenge so it's not like that ki bds bds is a money minting branch you can make money like anything you will have a job satisfaction you don't have any emergencies to attend you don't have any night duties in bds you have but you when you become a oral surgeon or you become a super specialist in dentistry that too also is very less there are not risky there are risky procedures but there are not that much risky that will cause life threatening problems to the patient 
so that is the thing bds is a very good branch of dentistry but if you have the zeal if you have the power within you then you can surely overgrow it so uh, other options are there suppose you want to move to the us or australia or new zealand after bds your bds is not recognized in those countries right so you have to give their licensure exam okay but that is quite expensive because in us they will um, you will uh, the exam fees is around 192 one cr you have to spend that much right even more than that and uh, everything you will get loan and you can easily remake that money within one year i'm telling you because dental procedures are very costly in us so whenever you are doing your dds so if you have a little bit of budget if your father is a having good business or good money or your mother is having good business or good money you can go and apply in those countries some other cheaper countries are like australia where the price is little bit less for the exam fees and all the procedures you can even go to canada canada is also canada will provide you money for everyday living my roommate is in canada and still he has not cleared his licensure exam but the government is paying 1000 dollars every month for his survival so it's a very good government you can also move to canada so there are options but it is less you have to spend more to go to abroad countries other options are there after bds you can do a mha masters in hospital administration or you can do a mba okay if you are not that much interested in clinical work so you can deviate a little bit from and you will be able to work in hospitals like few of our juniors are working few of my students are working in different hospitals like emery and uh, other hospitals so as a whole if you do finish your bds you can also join in army as a army dental co doctor which is known as adc uska liye bhi you have to clear neat mds right which is important so neat mds if you clear you will be getting into mds after mds will be specialized in a particular subject you will be able to do particular you will be able to uh, able to do uh, a clinic specifically on that or you will be called by different doctors to perform certain procedures suppose i want to remove a third molar which is very difficult for me to extract so i will uh, my friend is a oral surgeon so i call him and i pay him and he works in my clinic and the tooth is easily removed that way you can do your practice suppose a particular work you are weak in or you want to improve so you can call a senior surgeon and you can get it performed in your clinic by paying him some money so that is the thing with bds it's a very good branch initially you have to invest but the future scope is good because it takes little bit more time because there are a lot of dentists now in india so everybody takes time to settle so that's all with today's video i hope you gained some knowledge about bds and mds so if you can follow me on instagram please do follow me in sai_dental and subscribe to this channel till then take care love you all